Hi, is it true that when we get older, we get shorter? Or is it true as we get older, we should get taller? Well, obviously when we're young, we're regenerating. As we keep regenerating, we keep growing. We get to a certain phase in our life, we stop growing. At that point, do we maintain our height or do we continue to get shorter? Well, generally as we degenerate, we're all gonna get somewhat shorter. Although I wanna go over a few important things to you to give you a better understanding about degeneration. Degeneration means wear and tear. A good analogy is your tires. As your tires continue to wear, the tread on the rubber continues to become diminished. It starts to become thinner, less rubber, less of a tire. Well, generally what happens in our body is that the cartilage, the discs, the, the articular parts within the joints are the areas that continue to degenerate. If you look at the spine, the majority of our height is in the spine. If you look between the 24 movable vertebrae, these are discs between the vertebral bodies. They're mainly composed of water, along with other collagen matrix. Now what happens is, from improper posture, from wear and tear, from the things that we do every day incorrectly, sitting, texting, looking down on a computer, being athletic, having trauma, having injuries, be, have, being obese, having weak muscular integrity within your system, a weak core, it causes excessive load on certain parts within our body, and those joints start to wear, they start to wear and tear, they start to get thinner. There's a certain amount of density and thickness within the discs of our vertebrae. Generally, the thicker amount of discs are in the lower back. The reason why God designed it that way is because that's what takes up the majority of our weight. Now in the neck, they're a lot thinner, but although the weight of the head being 12 pounds, that excessive weight going forward multiplies tremendously, causing excessive degeneration and spondylosis, which is osteoarthritic changes or arthritis. So when we look at degenerative joint disease, that generally goes in hand in hand with degenerative disc disease. As the joints start to wear out, we get osteoblastic activity, which then, which then brings in more osteoblastic formation, which is more calcium into the bone to help protect that instability or that weakness. Osteoclastic activity does the opposite. When things are stabilized, even though the osteoblasts are going in and repairing, the osteoclasts are taking out the excessive osteoblasts so it doesn't lay all that extra mineral deposit into the formation of the bone. When you look at the cervical spine and forward head posture, you can see that this curve, this lordotic curve, now becomes flattened or reversed. As it becomes reversed, the height of the head is lower than it was when it had its normal cervical lordosis. You can see here, and you can see here, it comes down. So, in essence, you could be losing one, two, or three inches just from improper posture. Now, in the other aspect, I want to bring out osteoporosis. One of the biggest deficiencies that we have throughout the world is a lack of vitamin D. The majority of vitamin D we get is from sunlight, although ma the majority of people throughout the world do not get enough sunlight, and if they are, they're not getting it on the body or the back. So the 20 minutes of sunlight you should be getting, the ultraviolet light, produces vitamin D within the body naturally. Now it's very important you understand that the majority of our matrix, of our bones, is calcium. And in order for calcium to be replenished and put into the bone to keep the bone nice and strong, you must have vitamin D around in order for calcium to be assimilated. So osteoporosis, which is a demineralization of the bone, when x-rays are taken, we're looking at more of a lighter appearance. Instead of it being dark white, we can see it kind of like a more of a radiolucent, more of a lighter appearance of the bone because we are looking at the bone with less calcium in it. So that means that since the matrix of the bone is weaker or lighter and less calcium that should be in there, there's more of a higher tendency for pathological fractures. People can cough, bend the wrong way, just have a minor fall, and you get a compression fracture. Now a compression fracture causes the vertebral part of the body 
to become smaller. And as that happens, you can then develop what we call a kyphosis because of the anterior compression fracture, usually in the anterior part of the vertebral bodies. And that can cause a permanent deformity when it comes down to improper posture. So all in all, I wanted you to have a little bit of an education about how, yes, discs degenerate, how posture makes you smaller, how discs make you smaller, even in knee joints and hip joints, when they degenerate, you become smaller, and obviously you get bone on bone, which is obviously very painful. There are more uh, hip replacements and knee replacements today than any other time in history. All I'm saying to you is that you have one body, you need to take care of it. Remember, good nutrition, lots of good vitamins, nice, a, a lot of greens, fruits and vegetables, lots of fluids, exercise, and keeping the body strong meaning that keeping weight bearing on the body, keeping it moving allows these osteoblasts to stay strong to keep the bone strong as well. It's proven that too much rest, not enough exercise causes a increase of osteoporosis, which is demineralization of calcium. I hope that you learned something. Please leave your comments below. I ask you to share this video so we can continue to educate others and uh, subscribe if you haven't to receive more self-help and educational videos. I ask you to make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.